Today's class is a full body workout. It is one of my favorite classes, so I'm so excited to be taking you through it. We're gonna work the entire body, and if you do need to take modifications throughout the class, I'll cue you. You're gonna start at the back of your mat. You're gonna start with your feet parallel, hip distance apart. And from here, you're just gonna interlace your hands behind your back. You're gonna press through the palms. You're gonna open through the heart, slight bend through the knees, and just enjoy that stretch. Really feel the energy pulling through your hands and then really press your chest forward. Pressing your shoulder blades together, press them back and down. Hold for a deep inhale. And exhale. From here, you're gonna swing your hands down. Swing and open through the heart and down. Up and around, big circles. Now I want you to set an intention for today's class, whether that be to find some length and space in your body, whether that be to just calm the mind, to get some mental clarity. Whatever it is, you're just gonna be present on your mat with your mind and your body. Last one, and open. Tuck chin to chest, slowly start to roll down, really slow for the warm up. Tuck your chin in, hold. Just check in with your shoulders, give them a little shake. Now relax your head, give it a little shake. Slight bend through the knees, you're just gonna sway to one side, opening up the back, and then through center, and the other side. Just really noticing the body here today. How are you feeling today on your mat? Are you holding tightness? Do you feel energized? Do you feel a little tired? Was it quite hard for you to get on the mat today? Whatever it is, just take a little mental note and then let go of that. Come back through center, tucking the chin, making your way all the way down. Again, check in with your shoulders, relax them. Check in with your neck, really relax it. Beautiful work. Walk your hands out to a downward dog and just start to pedal out through the heels, lowering one heel and then the other heel. Making sure that you're really lifting both heels up as you transfer through getting that blood circulation all the way down to your feet. Nice work, keep going, really enjoy that movement, pressing the chest through. And then from here, I want you to press both heels down. And then from there, try and push your tailbone up to the sky. Press your chest down towards your mat, but wrap your arms in towards one another so you're lifting up out of your shoulders. Hold it there, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, can you deepen the stretch? One more time, inhale. Exhale, deepen the stretch. From there, hold. You're gonna inhale, and then exhale, pull your belly button back towards your spine. Really pr press it back. Inhale. Exhale, press the belly button back. From here, you're gonna inhale, and then you're gonna exhale, you're gonna ripple forward into a high plank. Hold it there. If you need to modify, you're gonna lower the knees, untuck the toes and come into a half plank. From here, I want you to wrap your shoulders in towards your body. So you're lifting up out of your shoulders, then press your shoulder blades back and down. Your spine is long. And then from here, I want you to take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, pull the belly button back towards your spine. Nice work, one more time, inhale, exhale. Pull the belly button. We're gonna move in this plank now. So you're gonna inhale, and then you're gonna exhale, push back downward dog. And you're just gonna keep working through that. So you're rippling forward, and then you're pressing back. And all of those technical points that I'm giving you, you wanna try and hit them in each position. So each time you come back into your Downward dog, you're wrapping your arms in, you're pulling your belly button back. And then each time that you are coming into a plank, 
You're drawing the belly button back. Your spine is nice and long. Nice work, everyone. Let's stay with it for 10 more seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and hold it there. Take your right foot forward, come to a lunge. Lower the back knee, untuck the toe, extend the arm up, take it all the way behind you. Reach through the fingertips, twist a little more, circle it up and around, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, step back to a high plank or modified plank and switch sides. Step the opposite foot forward, lower the knee, untuck the toe, reach the arms up, twist a little deeper, press your shoulder blades down and back, reach through your fingertip, take it up and around, tuck the back toe, lift the knee and then step back. One more time, step. Feel those hip flexors really opening. Feel the thoracic spine opening as you twist. Last time, and then you're gonna meet in your high plank or modified plank. And hold. From here, you're gonna step your right foot back up towards your right hand, and then step your left foot up, and then come and lay down on your back and interlace your hands behind your head. Good, from here you're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna exhale, draw the belly button down towards the spine, lift the head, neck and shoulders off the mat and then lower back down. And exhale, curl up. And inhale, lower back down. And Curl, sliding your ribs down towards your hips. I want to see that. So your ribs are sliding down towards your hips as you're coming up. Relax your head in your hands, elbows out to the side, and then lower back down. Good. Just warming up the core here, getting the technique correct. And lift up to the sky with your chest rather than your neck. Up and down. This time you're going to curl up, hold. Reach your hands towards your heels, drop your shoulders, and then come back down and lift. Try not to tuck your tailbone under as you lift. So your tailbone should be flat on the mat. Good, two more. If you're feeling it in your neck, keep your head, hands behind your head. Let the head be heavy in your hands. Last one. Good, from here. You're gonna draw your right elbow towards your left knee, curl up, twist, tap it, and lower down, and lift. Kissing your elbow with your knee. <laughs> tap, and down, keep going. Four, eight, seven, in six. If you wanna go a little faster than me or slower, that's fine. Keep going. Three. And two. Can you twist a little deeper? Last one. Repeat other side. And let's go. Lift up. Check in with your body. Where are you holding tightness and tension? Are you putting the tension into your neck whilst you're trying to get up and twist a little more? You want to put that work of all into the tummy, into those obliques. <sighs> Twist a little more. It's like you're rinsing out your spine like a wet tea towel. You're trying to get every last drip of water out. Keep your pelvis still. Twist a little more. Let's go. Two more. Last two. And one. We're going to go for singles, so alternating. And let's go. Lift. Tap and lower, lift and tap, and lower. Let's start to pick that energy up. Keep going, you have five. In four, in three, last two, and one, relax. Hands beside you. Taking one knee to tabletop, take the other knee to tabletop. Flatten the lower back into the mat. Toe taps, inhale, tap the toe, exhale, curl back. Inhale, tap, 
Exhale. Now, I want you to take your hands and just take them onto your ribs. So you want to try and slide your ribs down towards your hips. That's it. Really feel your core and take your hands to your transverse. Now, if you're not sure what your transverse is, I definitely recommend you watching the technique video and watching the core technique video because the transverse is the most important muscle, I would say, to work in all of your Pilates classes. It's your abs that sit under your six pack, in quote, <laughs> um, which are your superficial muscles. And your transverse is what sits underneath and it is so important to work that muscle. It really helps support your lower back, helps with your posture. Keep going for four. And it really does give you that beautiful length and space in your classes. Everything comes from the core, from your transverse. All right, from here, leg extension, stretch, and draw it in. Take your hands to your tummy and see if when you extend your leg, if your tummy is making a balloon. Now, it might a little bit, mine does too, but you wanna try and press it down as much as you can, and the breath is amazing to help you do that. So you're gonna inhale, stretch, exhale, pull tummy back. For four, three, keep going. Two, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. One, and hug your knees in, nice work. Inhale, exhale, back to tabletop, interlace your hands behind your head, exhale, curl up, bicycles. You're gonna stretch and twist. Good, now think about <laughs> many things, but key points, keeping your pelvis nice and stable on the mat. So if I came and I put my hands on your hips during this exercise, they're nice and still. What's moving is your thoracic spine, so your upper body, and you're really working these obliques, and then your head is heavy in your hands. All right, a little faster for 10, nine, eight, in six, let's go. Four, three, two, one, hug it in. Deep breath in. From here, extend your right leg to the sky. Take your hands behind your calf. Extend the opposite leg out, nice and long. Exhale, curl the head, neck and shoulders up. And then switch, and switch, and switch. Every time you switch, you're gonna exhale and pull the tummy down. That's it, keep going. Relax your head, neck and shoulders. All right, speed it up. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, six, squeeze your tummy, really activate that transverse. Three, two, hold one leg, lower the head, neck and shoulders, and flex and point, nice work. Taking a deep breath in. Stretch it out and switch legs. We've got a short stretch at the end today because we're gonna stretch in between the exercises. Beautiful work. And take your hands behind your head. Let your knees fall from one side and to the other side. Feet are flat on your mac mat. <laughs> Make sure your toes are facing forward. Hands are gonna come behind your head. You're gonna flare your ribs up. So stick them out and then you're gonna press them down as you exhale. Inhale, let them flare. So it's like you're almost arching your back and then you're gonna exhale, let them come down. One more, you're gonna inhale. This time your hands are gonna come to eye line. You're going to flatten your back you're gonna to start to peel your hips all the way off the mat, one, one vertebra at a time. Drop your shoulders, squeeze your hips and squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. And then you're gonna roll back down, let your ribs flare as you come back down. Release your tailbone so there should be a little gap underneath your back. And then you're gonna flatten that gap on the mat. You're gonna press your ribs down 
your arms come back to eye line and then you roll up and then you roll back down and just keep enjoying that movement it feels so beautiful really focusing in on your body each part of the movement i want you to bring your attention into the body to the breath on the next one you're going to hold it up and you're going to lower an inch lift an inch lower and lift lower and lift keep going you have five Breathe, three, flatten your shoulders on the mat, hold it up on one, tiny little pulses, you have 10, nine, really squeeze the glutes, in six, in four, three, two, hold it there, take your hands to your hips, and then you're going to lift your right hip up, squeeze that glute as hard as you can, dip it down through center, and then squeeze the left hip up. So it's almost like you're dry, drawing a smiley face with your hips. Down and squeeze and squeeze, that's it. Just activating the singular glute muscle because you know what's coming. We're gonna do single leg bridges. <laughs> if it's too much for you, you can stay with both feet down and continue with this movement. All right, coming back through center. So both of your weight is distributed evenly in your feet. Hands to your hips, squeeze your transverse. You're gonna lift your right knee to tabletop. Take it down, switch. Notice which part of your body flares up when you try and lift your toe off the floor. Does your neck flare up? Are you clenching your jaw? Are your shoulders around your ears? On the next one, hold one leg up. You're gonna stretch those toes to the sky, straighten. Then you're gonna flex. You're gonna take the foot down, point and lift, and down, point and lift. You have eight, seven. Keep lifting those hips. Squeeze that glute. Lengthen through the leg. Three. Ooh, two, hold it up on one, four little pulses up to the sky. You have four, three, two, one. Take it down, other side, tabletop, lift, flex, down, and point, flex. That's it, down, and lift. Six more, six, five, keep lifting this hip up, three, fight for it, two, one, hold it up, four pulses, you have four, three, two, one, tabletop, and hands to the sky, ten pulses to finish, you have ten, Nine, squeeze harder, eight, six, four, three, just hold and squeeze, hold, squeeze the glutes in, lift an inch, squeeze the glutes in, lift an inch, four, three, two, roll it down, hug both knees in, nice work. Rock and roll from side to side. Great work, everyone. All right, from here. You're gonna roll over onto your side. Bottom knee in. All right, from here. You're gonna lift that toe up, flex through the foot. You're gonna press the heel back, make sure that your ribs aren't flaring. You're gonna point through the toe and you're gonna take it forward. So you're gonna flex, press it back, point, take it forward. Okay, now, when I say to you, which part of your body is taking over, that's because what I'm wanting to know, are you sticking out of your chest like this as you come back? And then are you swinging as you come forward? So the upper body stays still. 
So again, if I was to come there and hold your ribs, are you moving? And you want to stay really strong here. All right, we're going to add on. And the way that you stay strong is your transverse. All right, so from here, you're going to flex. You're going to press your arm into a diagonal. You're going to turn your shoulder down towards the mat, and then you're going to point, and you come forward, lift up. I want to see your shoulders press back and down. Flex, press, point, lift up. But don't put the tension in your neck. <laughs> this is such a tricky move. It seems so easy. It's that thing, isn't it? When people haven't tried Pilates and they say, isn't that so easy? And then they do a class with the correct technique. And then they're like, oh, this is so hard. <laughs> For four. Three. Two. Hold it back on one. Flip the palm towards you. And then from here, you're just going to pulse the arm and leg up for eight, seven, six. Can you get longer? It should feel really beautiful in your body. Three, two, one. Come down side plank and lift it up. If you need to modify, you're lowering that bottom knee and you're lifting up just like this. If you're in that side plank, you're going to hold. I want you to pull that bottom oblique away from the mat. Shoulders are stacked in line with your elbow. Front foot is either stacked right on top, top leg, or in front. You're going to give me eight circles with the arm for eight, seven. As your arm comes up to the top, I want to see you grow taller. Keep going. In four, three, breathe. Two, hold it up on one, hold, lengthen for four, three, to gently come down, nice work. Come to your knees, reach it up, exhale, lengthen, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, foot out, and let's go. You're gonna come up and over for eight. The core and the oblique brings you back. Six, elbows out to the side. Three. Two. And one from here. You're going to take your hand down, reach in and up. Reach. Down. Reach. Can you get a little longer? Relax those shoulders. In four. We're going to add on. Three. Two. And one. You're going to come over. As your arm reaches out, your leg comes up. You bring it down. You come back up. Come with me. Down. Reach. In. Now, try not to use momentum. You want to really use your muscles to bring you back up. Down. So your foot hits the floor first, then you bring it back up. That's it. Last two. On one, you're going to hold it. Hold. Eight circles with the arm. For eight, follow the hand with the foot and lift it up a little higher. So you're dipping it slightly and then you lift it up. Yes, that's it. Nice work. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. Four pulses. And let's go for four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down. Reach up. And down. Reach up. Other side, here we go, and a down, and up. So elbows are out to the side, and you're really using this oblique to pull down, you're pressing. It extends 
and then it comes back. Four, keep drawing the belly button back. Three, if this is too much for you, you can always come down with both knees and just do it here. Two, one, we go down, reach in and up. Think about your movement. It's like you're moving through water, but this one's such a beautiful move because you get that beautiful stretch from your fingertips all the way down to your feet and you're really lengthening and then you get this beautiful ab workout as you come up. So you're coming down, stretch, in. So always think about the two points of your body where you're trying to get a little longer. We're gonna do two more and then we're gonna add on with the leg. Okay, we ready? Reach, reach through that middle fingertip. Here we go, so we come down, reach. So where's the two points? So it's your middle toe that's the longest, maybe, or your big toe, who knows? And the middle of the fingertip in and up. Keep going down and reach in and up. Nice work, down, reach for five. Keep breathing. As you start to get tired, don't use that momentum. Really use the resistance. Last two. Breathe. And one. Hold it up. Circles. Down and up. Down and up. Keep squeezing the core. Let's go. And for four. Breathe. Three. Two. Hold it up on one, four pulses. Let's go, lift it higher for four. Relax your neck. Three, two, one. Release, come down to the side, onto your elbow, bottom knee in. Flex through the foot, drop the shoulder blades down and back. Press the heel back, point, take it forward. So this bottom leg should be at a 90 degree angle. So straight and then straight. That's it, keep going. You have five. And four. Three, we're gonna add the arm. Two, and let's go. So you press it forward and press it back. Lift up out of your shoulders. Press and up. Press. For five, in three, two, get ready, hold it, and hold point to the foot. You're gonna pulse the arm and leg, turn the palm in, and let's go for eight, seven, strengthening that back, in four, tiny pulses, three, two, or one, side plank, Lift it up, hold or modified. Lift, breathe. Circle, down and up, and down and up. Take the tension out of your neck, put it in your obliques. Four, three, two, and one, hold it, hold for four, three, two, lower down, turn onto your tummy, nice work everyone. Hands beside your ribs, open through your heart, breathe and come down and lift up and child's pose, breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, you're gonna come forward. All right, little challenge here. Come into a high plank or modified plank. If you're in a modified plank, you're gonna give me those shoulder taps. But everyone else, you're going to draw your knee into your chest, scoop the belly button away from the floor. 
You're gonna lower that knee two inches. You're gonna lift it back up. You're gonna extend it out. And then you're gonna lower that leg. You're gonna lift the opposite leg. You're gonna draw it in. Pull the belly button up. Lower, lift, stretch. Come with me. Lift, in, down. So you're gonna flow through that. Stretch, down, and draw. Lower, lift, stretch, fight for it. Lower, draw it in. Lower, lift, stretch. Four more, fight for it. And I keep stretching the leg. Lift, down, in, down, lift. Last two, and in. Oh, this is so strong. Keep going, you're doing really well. Last one, and child's pose. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, slowly coming up. Interlace your hands behind your back open. Good, from here, you're gonna sweep your hands all the way up and around. And then from here, you're gonna come forward, shift your weight, inhale, exhale, child's pose. Sweep, down, up, push up. If you wanna go for a full push up, you can. Keep working through that. Little arm workout here. We're gonna come into a, even more of a combo. Two more. Breathe, stay connected to the breath. All right, on the next one. You're gonna stay all the way up, hinge the hips forward, stick the hips back, high five the sky, up and down. All right, so your hips are lifted up off your heels now. You're leaning forward. If you do have sore knees, you can do this standing, and then you're just gonna come down to the mat and give me two push-ups. For everyone else, you're gonna give me four, three, two, one. You take it forward, two push-ups, down and up, down and up, press it back, and sweep the hands for four, three, two, one. Take it forward, two push-ups. If you're doing it standing, crawl back. And then you're just gonna crawl forward. And then give me those two push-ups. That's it, nice work. Keep going. Nice work, everybody, breathe. Great job, almost there. Good job. Two more, those arms should be burning. Think about how good it is for you. <laughs> Breathe. One more. Stay with the triceps, hold it there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, in four, three, two, one. Interlace your hands behind your back, stretch and open, hold. All right, we're gonna finish with 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Sweep those arms up and around, up and around. Just give them a little swing, side to side. All right, are we ready? Coming forward. Final power, final moves. We're gonna start in three, two, and one. Let's go, 30 seconds of mountain climbers to get that heart rate up to get those endorphins. <sighs> nice work, everybody. <sighs> Think about how good you're gonna feel after this. <sighs> All that length that we worked in today's class. <sighs> Think about the technique. Wrap your shoulders in, shoulder blades down and back, long spine. All right, for the last 10 seconds, I want you to go a little faster 
and let's go for 10, nine, faster, fight for it, go, go, go. Four, three, two, downward dog, breathe. Nice work, everybody. Extend the right leg up, bend the knee open through the hip, breathe. Active stretch, take the knee into the chest, step it through, lower that back knee, untuck the toe, stretch the arm, take it up and around, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, step back to a high plank, downward dog. Opposite leg stretches, bend the knee open through the hip, enjoy that stretch. Take it forward, bend, stretch, and up. Beautiful work today. Step it back, push back, downward dog. Nice work, hold it there, take a deep breath in. Exhale, inhale, exhale. And gently walk your feet up towards your hands. Interlace your hands behind your back. Fold a little deeper. Relax the head. You should be so proud of yourself for doing that class. It's definitely quite technical and quite strong. Release, bend both knees. Scoop the belly, roll up. From here, long spine. Just taking your leg behind. Draw your belly button back towards your spine. Press your shoulders down and back. Close your ribs and then grow taller. Good, from here, this leg is gonna cross over, test your balance, flex through the foot and then send the hips back. If you want a little extra, take that hand and just gently place it on your knee. Test your balance. And slowly coming up, other side. Draw it in. Shoulders down and back, lengthen and release. Cross it, flex, sink down. Long spine still. And one deep breath to finish. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. Deep breath in. And well done, everybody. I hope that you set your intention today, that you achieved it. Remember, if you learned one thing in today's class, that is a huge achievement, so you should be so proud of yourself. Well done, and I hope you have an amazing day.